Well, happy sunshine, family. It is the 23rd of September, 2017. Today is that uh, celestial alignment that many people have been talking about that doesn't happen every so often. Um, Has to do with the planets and the moon and a particular constellation. So we'll see if anything interesting happens today. Looks like... I can probably find the the date here. Let's pop this open and change it live while we're here. Okay. There, that worked. So we're going to first pop over to this composite radar feed. We got some really interesting things going on there. These storms that we were looking at earlier coming out of Nebraska and Colorado here flowing at a really good pace in a northeasterly direction. And we've just got a lot of raging weather that is tearing across central Minnesota right now. And it's on its way, well, either to, either up here to Canada. It doesn't really look like it's taking a turn towards the upper peninsula or to Wisconsin so much. We've got a lot of spikiness in the radar coming out over the east coast here. I don't remember seeing that last night. Wow, it looks like most of the moisture that was building up down here that I was suspecting and and also the True Channel was suspecting was going to turn into what they call uh, Hurricane Maria. And we've got the Northwest is just lit up like a Christmas tree again. And look, we've got that same roughly 25, just shy of 25% wedge cut out of the Seattle radar signal. And this one here along the border of Washington and Oregon, I wonder if this is Pendleton here. It's firing in a very irregular pattern. But looks like Portland is pretty energized as well. But we're getting the spikiness coming off of Spokane, so I wonder what we'll see tomorrow. In Spokane, I've got uh, quite a few of you are sending me some pictures of the sky, and I've got some reports. Uh, let me read to you as as we're watching these thunderstorms. I'm guessing they're thunderstorms that are flowing over Minnesota right now. It, very similar type of mechanism for these storm generations we saw yesterday with these storms flowing over Wisconsin. And I want to read to you what one of the Lunacy family had to say about Wisconsin. Another thing I wanted to share with you was that the other night when those big red storms that they made came through Wisconsin... There was tons of lightning, I mean non-stop, poured like crazy too, but only a little thunder. Don't get me wrong, it was thundering once in a while, but there was a hundred bolts, a hundred, a hundred lightning bolts to one producing thunder. The lightning bolts looked different too. It was just flashes. I don't know if it was heat lightning mixed in with regular lightning or what. Have you heard of that? Keep them coming, brother. You're doing great. Uh, I can tell the Holy Spirit is in you. Well, thank you so much. Um, that's a that's a great report. I I don't know anything about uh, the lightning bolts that you saw, but what I can give you is just an anecdote that happened this past hmm April or May. I can't quite remember what month it was, but I was driving from, oh, the Salem area out to central Oregon, and I got 
caught in some of the absolute worst downpour thunderstorms that I have ever experienced. It had golf ball sized hail. <laughs> this was about oh, 10 or 11 at night, so it was dark. The rain was coming down so hard that I could not see the painted lines on the road, except when the lightning flashed and then it lit everything up for a split second just as bright as daytime and I could see the lines on the roads and make any adjustments and I was just driving off of the taillights in front of me and moving at a very very slow pace that was a really long stressful drive home and when I got home I saw well I went to bed, and when I got up the next morning, I saw a video by Pacific Redwood, and he said that they were seeding thunderheads in Northern California. And this was what I had experienced in Central Oregon uh, was it felt like they had weaponized thunderstorms and hail and just unexpectedly dropped one right in the middle of Oregon. And so I don't know if that's what you experienced out there in Wisconsin, but I have seen some crazy things with lightning out this way, and I don't quite know how to explain it either. So we're just making observations at this point. We're not trying to jam any of these into a prepackaged perception that would probably be wrong and end up trapping us in some form of unhealthy behavior later on down the road. Okay, so keep your emails coming. I really appreciate them. I, I'm getting enough of them now that I, I know I'm not going to have a chance to respond to everyone individually. Um, but there's some good information coming in. I've got some pictures of the sky from Ireland, and we're going to cover those uh, in another video when we take a look at that vortex again. Um, let's switch over to IntelliCast. And we're looking at the radar and satellite composite here for this storm that they call Maria. And it's got a really defined eye right now. And let's see, 3 a.m. San Salvador in the Bahamas is 9 miles an hour. Let's see if there's any... Uh, this is probably the closest island right here. What's that one? Yep, that was the one I just read. All right, let's head up here and see if anything's going on with <laughs> with Jose. At very minimal reflective vapor in the air. Yeah, this is pretty much done. Let's see what NASA said the clouds are doing. Okay, I, I don't see anything at all that remotely resembles a hurricane anymore. We've got some interesting crop lines right here. Very irregular angle. Let's head on over and see what's going on on this monstrosity. Um, I got a report, an email that says it was just crossing over into Ireland at about 7 a.m. local time. And I've got some pictures. I download them on my phone. I don't I don't have them moved over the computer yet. So we'll cover those in another another video. It's just cloudy skies. Well, my computer is being awfully slow again. 
Let's switch over to IntelliCast and at least watch that. Oh, never mind. It's cooperating now. Hmm. I, I just don't feel like I can trust these cloud images from NASA guys. We've got two different frames that shift back and forth for this huge vortex. We have a little bit more movement here just off the coast of Maine and Canada. But wow, this isn't moving. We've got this crop line here. None of this clouds are moving over here except for just between those two frames. Let's check out some of these other sites. So this one is windy.com. Let's see what the highest wind speed we can find is. 34, 36, and these are knots. And then down here, we're at 40 knots. So they're still reporting that Maria is stronger than this, but uh, this is picking up. There's 35 knots. Let's check Ventu Sky. And here we're on wind gusts. So these are not sustained. These are just the gusts. Oh, wow. So we got some 71, 72, 73. So there's some wind that's moving here. These are gusts though, but it's it's moving. What do we got over here for gusts? Oh, 109, 116, 121, 124, 125. And then what are they saying over here? Uh, in the 30s and 40s roughly. I wonder what these are. Yeah, very slow. Wow, this is really interesting to look at the different wind directions. Like the just about due south flow here in the central United States coming from Canada is meeting just about a due north flow that's coming up from Mexico, both from the Gulf and from the Pacific. It's very interesting. We got some strange weather, guys. Well, thank you so much for all of your comments and your emails. I love the love, light, and links. And I love the, wow, the bright minds that are in the Lunacy family. It's really great to be part of it all. All right. So we are closing this out at five minutes shy of 1 a.m., on the 23rd of September, the date of that uh, interesting celestial alignment. Okay, I love you guys a lot, and we'll be back really soon.